Hi everyone, here is a quick follow-up to our beer bottle video. You asked for a Photoshop tutorial and I deliver. So let's get started. Open both images in Photoshop, then go to Layer, Duplicate Layer, and copy one into the other. Then you can close one image, Command W will close it, and you see that you have both layers in one image. Next, with the top layer selected, click the mask icon. That will create a mask. Now we press G for the paint bucket tool and change the foreground color to black. Clicking once into the image will paint black on the layer mask and that will hide the layer. The B key on your keyboard will activate the brush tool. Period increases the brush size and comma decreases the brush size. Now I will change the foreground color to white and paint over the mask of the top layer to reveal the bottle cap. Make sure to paint on the mask and not on the image. Painting with white on a mask will reveal the image and changing that to black and painting over it will hide the image. Once again, make sure you paint on the layer mask and not on the image. Let's paint on the image. That wouldn't change anything. Now, why is that? Let me hide and reveal the mask by shift clicking on the mask. You see that we didn't paint on the mask, but rather on the image. That's not what we want, so let's undo that. That was the right step. Now let's zoom in to fine-tune our mask. I'm going to use a smaller brush and I will paint over the part of the image I want to get deleted or hidden actually. Then I change the hardness of the brush because the edge was too soft Zoom out and with a bigger brush, I paint away the rest. Then I will zoom out to see the complete image. And as you can see, we now have two layers. I want to change that by clicking layer, flatten image. Now there's only one layer left. What else can we do? I want to extend the wooden background and remove the white box. I will use the rectangular marquee tool for that and draw a rectangle like that. Then with command C I copy and command V I paste. And then with command T I can transform what I just copied and extend it over the edge of the frame. After I flatten the layer, I will do the same on the other side. Command Z, command V, command T and hit enter to confirm the transformation. If you look closely, you can see that there is some noise in the background, but I don't really care. What I do care though, is that there is some dust in this and that area. I'm going to choose the spot healing tool, zoom in a bit and paint over the dust like that and that. And here is a scratch paint over it once more. And we're done. Let's zoom out. And there is a big shadow in the front. You may like that or not. I don't like it that much. So first of all, I'm going to flatten my image. Then I will choose M for the rectangular marquee tool. Copy and paste. And then transform it again like that. Okay. Now I want to crop. The way I usually do it is choose the rectangular marquee tool, choose a fixed ratio. The original ratio of the image was three by two. Then I draw a rectangle. I could do it centered, but I prefer it off center. Then I choose image, crop, command D for deselect, and we are finished. So much for this quick Photoshop tutorial. Whenever you have a question or you want me to go into more detail, let me know in the comments. As you can see, I deliver. See you in the next video.